Hi, welcome to the High Production Kitchen Virtual Edition. Um, I'm Elisabetta Fazio, and for you tonight, we're gonna do pasta tuna puttanesca. Uh, Sergio, do you wanna add something? Sure, I'm Sergio, I'm Dr. Fazio, I'm the Director of Cardiovascular Prevention at uh, Oregon Health and Science University. Many of you have come to our classes uh, at uh, the March Wellness on the third floor in our demo kitchen and Elizabeth actually has done how many? Three of them? Three of them. Three of them. So this will be our fourth one and the first one virtual. We are in COVID kind of lockdown. It's during that period. So we discussed with Tracy, our dietitian, on how to make one that is uh, basically do something good with what you have in the pantry. And so yes. we decided to Go for that one. So, what do we have prepared? Ah, uh, so we'll make again a uh, tuna pa uh, tuna pasta puttanesca, which is uh, uh, basically two kinds of um, sauces combined. That's how we like to get tuna pasta in our house, and um, it's basically a pasta with puttanesca with additional tuna. It's uh, super fast. Most of the ingredients probably you already have it in your kitchen pantry, so there's not much, and. Um, Basically, the time that the, uh, the you cook the pasta, the sauce is done. So yes. Yeah, so, be and because um, because this is on video, and maybe I think there is an obligation for um, for the transcription to go at the bottom of the video. We want to make it short so that we don't have uh, too many words to transcribe. And um, I'm sure that Tracy, our diet dietitian, will vet the entire uh, procedure but it's already been pre-vetted and this will be uploadable or downloadable sorry uh, when you go on the website for OHSCO and uh, as Elisabetta says this is pasta and but it's uh, a total of 430 calories per person so it's a uh, very good healthy fast and inexpensive oh, yeah. um, kind of lunch she mentioned two types of pasta but just for Many of our patients who don't know the traditional way of doing pasta, what, what is tuna pasta and what is puttanesca pasta? And well, why do we lots of places in Italy, in Italy make a tuna uh, pasta that it's uh, white. There's not tomato sauce. And puttanesca sauce is usually capers, uh, olives, and uh, tomato base. And so we combine the two things and uh, we came up with our own uh, um, recipe which includes tuna which gives you a really good load of protein and uh, so that's good. Thank you, but we don't have tomatoes. Yes, we have tomatoes. Oh, there is tomatoes still? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, we also have tomatoes. Um, so again, in order to make it fast, we prepared all the ingredients for, for yeah. this meal. We already and, cut, uh, cut Why don't we discuss one so by one? So we'll, we'll discuss the ingredients. Uh, the pasta that they want uh, to use is uh, whole wheat. And uh, linguine is a really nice for this uh, kind of sauce. So that what would be is linguine? Good. It's a flat kind of spaghetti. And um, so the tuna, uh, we got this tuna that is from, uh, I think it's from Spain. And uh, it's in olive oil. Of course, we'll drain it, but it's a really good um, kind of tuna. But any kind of tuna will, 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 will work. So basically. if they only find tuna in salt water, what happens? And I guess you just drain that and yeah. then you go with it. But otherwise, uh, but the preference is for. It would be nice a solid pack tuna. Um, that would How be much nice. more expensive is? Um, mm -hmm. The, the uh, European ones are a little bit more expensive, but there are some good kinds also at Costco. We buy sometimes there. How so. much did we pay for this? Uh, I would say maybe six bucks, okay. uh, which is a small little can, but it's good for two people. And okay. I don't know if you can see. Okay. Can it's you a, see? It's, it's a really a, pink it's, color. Yeah, and it's, it's pink, in it's in oil, oil and it's, it. it's one single piece of tuna. Okay. Yeah, thank you. And then, uh, of course, we have capers. Uh, so capers, any special considerations no, in just, purchasing uh, capers? No. They are in vinegar. It's, it's always in brine. So uh, capers, olives, Kalamata olives, black olives would be good, not green. Uh, some diced tomatoes, I like to use diced tomato, tomatoes and drain them a little bit so there's not too much you know, liquid in the sauce. And then olive oil, pepper, we have um, um, garlic and some red pepper. And I like to finish it with some parsley on top. So that's pretty much it. Question for you. You know, every time we do a class and the people that come often, they know that Tracy and I were very, very um, strict about 
salt intake? I don't see any salt here. What are we going to do about that? Well, um, the, the olives and the capers, they already have some uh, saltiness. So, so no added salt? I would say no. Okay. And I think also Tracy didn't add any salt to it. So I mean, actually, there's a little bit of salt, but very tiny. But it says optional. Yeah. So so on the recipe, it says that if you are so inclined, you can add a tiny pinch of salt but otherwise, if you just go with this recipe, you will get 580 milligrams of sodium, which is one fourth of what you need in 24 hours. So, as I said, I like to drain uh, a little bit the can of tomato uh, that they're diced, uh, just because it's better. Um, we chop the olives and we use this very fine uh, grater and we grate the garlic, and those are the capers. So, we're pretty much everything. And we're gonna use this big chili pepper in there. So what we do, we already pre-cooked the pastas to, to make this shorter, but technically uh, the pasta cooks in seven minutes and you should pretty much have pasta in seven uh, minutes for an al dente texture and a little bit longer for a more cooked so texture. So if we're gonna move down here, all we're gonna do is put some uh, olive oil in the pan. And we just put the uh, chili pepper. And we are going to put the garlic. And just let it be. And to that, we are going to add the tomato sauce. Elisabetta is adding all the touches to the pasta by saying that, again, she mentioned these are two different recipes. Tuna pasta is a traditionally white type of pasta, yeah. not, not tomato. Yeah. And um, uh, and where does it come from, Melly? Do you know everywhere in Italy? Yeah, it's mostly in the south. Yeah, it's mostly a southern dish. And, um, happens, and the puttanesca yeah. is probably a Roman, isn't it? Uh, I would say maybe. Yeah, not sure. But yeah. Yes, probably. But I will encourage you to just look at the origin of the word puttanesca because it's not the right place here for me to explain what it means. And um, but it's both uh, tuna pasta and puttanesca pasta are common, common uh, decisions normally for lunch in traditional yes, meals. Yes, but this is but a it's perfect dinner, more more especially with dinner salad. Yep. Would work. So here the tomatoes are cooking. Doesn't really need that much. And um, we'll get up with some pepper later. And we're gonna add the olives and the capers. I wish you could smell it. it smells pretty good. Yeah. And the tuna goes at the end? Yes. So we're putting the tuna. easy thing to do it's so uh, we already have the pasta that it's already cooked but I left it very much on there okay what I like to do is put the pasta in there it's not really dry that much so some of the liquid goes in the 
Oops. So keeping it a little wet is good for, yes, because, for, the, um, for the sauté. Yes. Yeah. It makes a better sauce because some of the starch in the salad, uh, in the pasta, the liquid. So I'm going to start. So the tuna really doesn't need to get cooked at all. It's just no, the, the, tuna, the tuna doesn't need to be cooked. And the parsley, I guess, is the last. Yes. Now we're going to put the tuna. And what I like, I like to kind of break it a little bit. So, get a key. And that's enough for two people. And it doesn't have to be too much tuna. And then put in there. So this will give uh, for each person um, 11 grams of fat, uh, 55 grams We're of carbohydrates, and, and actually a whopping 28 grams of protein. Well, because of the tuna. Yeah, because of the tuna. Yeah. So I like the little pieces of. Um, Tomatoes, of course, and uh, there's a little bit of parsley, and uh, it's done. So we're gonna put it on the plate, and we'll then put we'll some pepper in there. So again, Tracy will probably edit and add a few comments on the final um, presentation of the video, but. Um, uh, this is uh, fully according to the philosophy of the Heart Protection Kitchen, which is fast, inexpensive, and very healthy. And as you have noticed, there was no salt added at all. Thank yeah. you so much. And so let's put on the plate. And sure. to yours. Bon okay. appetit. Bon appetit and uh, hopefully we will be seeing you soon in person at March Wellness, probably starting uh, before the summer is over. Have a good meal.